I think Aneska's inclusion in Space Lords is really significant in the sense that she is a character who was never meant to be playable. But the game's community really loved her and was so insistent about it that we decided to make her playable. Is that right, Hernán? It's totally true. Aneska is now a playable character only because of her impact on the community, who unanimously told us they wanted to play with Aneska. And this was a real challenge for the design team, because Aneska was originally devised as the Hades Betrayal Campaign's final boss. The challenge was to portray the feeling of being Aneska, the most elite, high-ranking operative of the Hades Division, now fallen from grace, but still really powerful and dominant in a balanced way. When you consider her personality, uh, Aneska is very interesting because she connects with the tradition of those villains who ultimately have their own reasons. And when you get to know them, you realize they're not evil for the sake of evilness, but because life has taken them down a certain path that might have been much different under other circumstances. But tell me, where did you draw inspiration for Agneska's aesthetics? She was one of the first sketches we did. I reckon it was the third sketch that was done even before the game was called Space Lords or even had a name. She's always been part of the game, and now we've made her playable. It's her personality that dictates the aesthetic appearance of the character. Any last words, Raiders? We wanted to move the narrative of the character forward and let the players appreciate Aneska's evolution. She's not just a direct port of the same final boss you faced before, but a woman suffering the consequences of your own previous actions in the game. That's why she looks injured, walks around with Croucher's head, and the mech is half shattered. Maybe the most interesting part of Aneska is her duality. She's someone who has a unique ability, expertly riding her combat armor with unmatched skill. But at the same time, you get the impression that she doesn't really want to be there. She acts because it's her duty, but maybe she was just waiting the chance to switch sides. Aneska is as fearsome and charismatic as we remember her, but maybe she's less of a soldier and more of a warrior now. Personally, I think this is amazing. Aneska has always been one of my favorite characters, and I'm sure she will be really well received by all. We like to think of Aneska as a triumph for the community, as it is thanks to them that she's now in the game.